So, let's talk about Jimmy. Jimmy is a cyborg hive mind unit fueled by cocaine, yes, really, from Hardcore Henry, based heavily on South African actor Charlotte Copley. Virtually zero of Jimmy's actual backstory winds its way into Payday 2, for better or for worse. But past that, all we really have is a super hardcore <laughs> drug addict pack and dual knives and dual SMGs, an absolute maniac. Jimmy and the Hardcore Henry Heist Pack were released for completely free, but is the current pack itself a feasible build? Let's take a look. Let's start with Jimmy's secondary, the Heather SMG, based on the SR2M Veresk, produced by, oh no, uh, the company responsible for building the AS Val, or the Valkyria as it appears in game, as well as a pair of underwater guns, the APS and the SPP-1M, they're kind of interesting, look them up. The SR2M is a personal defense weapon not unlike the P90 or MP7, but in-game it's probably closest to a beefed up Compact 5, doing 20 more damage but a bit less accurate and less stable. It's more concealable but with fewer concealed options, and it can take a speed pull mag as well. Originally these guns did the same damage, but the Heather got a rework with the difficulty and sniper patch and the wiki is, uh, wrong now. I modded my Heather with the tactical compensator, an auto fire lock, LED combo, speed pull mag, a minus one sight, and the unfolded stock. So, why not the White Streak Pistol from the Heist pack itself? Well, I tried it on my streams and I didn't mind it, but the points I spent to get Trigger Happy later went into some Revenant and Hostage Taker, which I figured would be more useful in this build, especially on higher difficulties. And while we're here, let's talk about our primary, the Akimbo Heathers. Hey Jimmy, how come your build lets you have three SMGs? Larger mag, less ammo, better accuracy and damage, worse stability, better base concealment, worse con possible concealment, but the Heathers have a faster reload by half a second no matter what, and only slightly worse ammo pickup. Not sure why reloading two of these things is quicker than reloading one, but that's just how things go. Unlike most other Akimbos, the Heathers can also take a stock, which keeps them more stable than other Akimbo SMGs, which means very little because the Heathers have crazy bullet spread and recoil, so we're really only applying a bandage to a bullet wound. Very many bullet wounds, because these shoot a lot of bullets. Quickly. I've slapped a competitor's compensator on mine, but otherwise it's the same deal. Auto fire lock, LED combo, speed pull, unfolded stocks. There, all three heathers have middling accuracy, but great stability in rather deep pockets. This will let us mow down people at close to medium range rather well and rather efficiently, no matter what weapon we're running, whether it's one or two heathers. A quick detour to talk about Jimmy's melees in order, the specialist knives. In any other game, these would be ballistic knives that swing quickly and you can shoot them to stab at distant enemies, but this is payday melee, they're slow and not that interesting. I don't even have bloodthirst in this build, so just don't press, is it E? I think it's E. Don't press E. And here we are, his perk deck, Maniac. Maniac turns the damage you deal into Hysteria. 25 points of Hysteria equals 2 points of damage reduced up to 36 points of damage absorbed with a full bar. For an idea as to how this works, say you're up against a guy that's got a gun that does 20 damage. With a full Hysteria bar, each shot's doing 0. If it does 40 damage, then you're only taking 4. And if for those curious, against a Zeal team with their 225 damage battle rifle, they're really only doing 189 damage a shot when the bar is full. But all of these numbers are for every shot. This number doesn't go down when you take damage. You can only grab 240 points of Hysteria every 4 seconds, and every 8, 40 points of Hysteria and 60% of what the player had accumulated is destroyed. So Jimmy needs to work fast and furious to keep killing enemies to keep his Maniac Hysteria bar as high as possible so he can tank as many shots as possible. Maniac isn't necessarily an armored deck, a dodge deck, or a regen deck, but I'd say it's closest to a regen in that you're rapidly accumulating a lot of points through tiny actions that the player accomplishes throughout the heist. Maniac pairs best with rapid fire weapons not unlike the Heather SMGs, so I'll commend Overkill. This weird freaking perk deck kind of works with the rest of the character pack. I don't see an armor requirement. I mean, you probably found it the suit, you probably found it the ICTV. I'm running the light ballistic vest because I like the mobility of the light ballistic vest. My core skills are Aced Joker, Partners in Crime, and Hostage Taker for some additional maximum health and some health regen just to tank more shots, Die Hard Aced as well as Bullseye and Iron Man Basic to beef up my armor, Steady Grip and Lock and Load Aced with Basic Surefire for some SMG buffs, Shockproof Basic so I don't waste all of my ammo, Akimbo Aced for ammo, and then, oh, that's a, that's a, that's a lot of Revenant. <coughs> Alright, well, um, nine lives, up you go in Swan Song Aced. I've also grabbed Feign Death and Messiah just for kicks, you can spend them wherever. I've got the light ballistic vest on for some armor with some decent movement speed. I got a DAC bag and then, I don't know, incendiary grenades? Yeah, sure, incendiary grenades. And here we are, Jimmy. Honestly, I'm kind of pleased with how well this character pack works as a build. Maniac is a pretty good deck on Mayhem, not as much on Deathwish, and 
You got a 189 shot on death sentence, so you're still getting two or three shots, so don't even try it. And what you end up with is a neat hybrid of dodge, armor, and regen gameplay, unlike anything else in Payday 2. It's not a really amazing build, it's quite flimsy, but it's not terrible. I've been really kind of worried about running Maniac in the past, but I do honestly think it has potential. Um, you know, mayhem. Jimmy and Vulcan Dozers, they're just not best friends. There's a... There's your... There's your moral. I've also got to mention, I ran out of ammo for both the primary and the secondary Heathers at least once during some of the longer missions, so as long as you just switch off between the two and don't keep switching back and forth repeatedly, use the akimbos until you run out of bullets, switch to the single one, use that until you run out of bullets, keep doing that back and forth, and you'll be fine, as long as you don't notice that the single heather sounds nothing like the akimbo heathers. And again, don't question why you reload the akimbos faster, you will tear a hole in the universe. Well, I hope you enjoyed this look at the Jimmy character pack as a build. So, here's to slaughtering some Russian mercs while so jacked on drugs your eyes no longer look like they have the texture of eyes. And till next time, see you around. Hey, big thanks to ToonfulWizard7 for donating on Patreon. If you like this video and like to see more, I recommend subscribing. Patreon and social media links are in the description.